What's up guys, Kevin over at Legros coming back at you with yet another one of our one pound bags of blind random mystery minifigures from our 15 pound lot. If you guys haven't seen any of the other videos, the live stream or the first video of the series, definitely go ahead and check those out. I did buy 15 pounds of random unsorted Lego minifigures. Uh, we're getting some winners in here, some losers, some interesting ones like Tan Solo uh, from the last video. So if you are new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I definitely would appreciate that. Uh, and uh, follow us on the store. That is eBay, stores.ebay.com slash legbros. You can always follow me on Instagram as well. That is legbros with a zero. So let's go ahead and dive into this and see what we get here in this one pound bag. I did separate them just because that was the easiest way to make videos on them. I didn't want to just be sitting here forever doing <laughs> 15 pounds uh, of minifigures specifically. We did a whole bunch in the live stream, but we only got through like two and a half pounds or something, <laughs> something like that, three pounds maybe. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig into this and see what we got here. Uh, first off, we do have a Harry Potter, the old style of him. We're going to blow through these pretty quickly just to make it a little more palatable for you guys. I think that's a Ultra Agents figure. I'm not 100% sure. We got a Monster Hunters figure. I don't remember what her name was. Uh, we do have Jay, just a regular city fig. Uh, we have Galadria, I think is her name, the Lord of the Rings witch uh, that turns like crazy that. <laughs> She's got a cool sparkly cape as well. She's supposed to have a dress, I believe, uh, underneath here, so I'll have to find that piece hopefully somewhere. Ooh, this is a great one. We do have a Magna Guard with cape in perfect condition. These guys are about 13 bucks or so uh, with the staff, and I'll just have to make one of his staffs. I usually like to sell mine with accessories. Uh, we do have just a Hoth pilot there. Got an old classic space figure. As you can see, we have the really classic figures uh, all the way up until new figures. This guy's got the old classic head there. Uh, we have a Knight's Kingdom fig, I believe is what that one is. The scorpion guys. Uh, that's Ron's face. Uh, we do have the Winter Soldier, it looks like. Yeah, he's real too. Uh, he's got that really cool looking arm. Some more tan guys. <laughs> we do have... Man, some of these got sun bleached like crazy. Um, we have a Harry Potter fig that looks like um, Big's uh, face. Big Star Potter, I think is his name. Um, and then we just have a regular city guy. R2, of course. Gotta have R2. Uh, here's another old space guy. We had the uh, black and yellow ones already. And I guess this one is the red one. I'm sure, I don't know if his helmet was in some bag, but I'm sure we have a helmet for him. He's got his red jetpack there. So those are always good, especially to get in good condition. He's in decent condition. I think he's just a little dirty, uh, but we'll clean him up. No problem. Don't know what that one is. I think it's Cassian's body, but I don't think that's his head. So I have to look into what that one is. Uh, we have a Nindroid from Ninjago. One of the classic UFO guys. That guy looks really cool. Classic UFO series, I believe is what that's from. Uh, just a regular city fig. Nothing special there. Got an astronaut. Ooh, this is a great figure. We have one of the mermaids from the Pirates of the Caribbean. There were two mermaids featured in that. I think the other one has a green tail. This one has a blue tail. As you can see, that really cool mermaid face on the back as well. She's in great condition too. I think she'll be probably about 15, somewhere 15 or 20 bucks or so. Uh, we do have the old pearl gold C-3PO, one of my favorite versions of that. Uh, he's probably about $5 as well. I guess that's a minifig. <laughs> I have no idea what that is or what series that's from, uh, but it's interesting nonetheless. So it makes uh, makes some content, I suppose. Uh, I believe that's Garmadon's torso and just a regular really Imperial torso there. Uh, this might be a clone for all you clone lovers. I don't know what this torso is. Oh, Sand Trooper. Close. <laughs> and then a Chima head. Uh, I have no idea what that one is. It's a really cool body though. It's nice and shiny and metallic. Comment below if you know what that one is. My army has been commenting uh, quite frequently about what things are, and I do appreciate it for sure. We have my least favorite troopers of all, the Republic troopers, uh, and then just a firefighter. Uh, just a mis mismatch, hodgepodge. We have another uh, Outrider, I believe is what those guys are called. A Naboo security or pilot. Uh, this was going to be Quicksilver, but it's definitely fake, as you can see by the head there. Uh, we did get a whole bunch of fake superheroes in here, so that's unfortunate that people are faking these things. I don't know why they do it. It's pretty obvious that it's fake when you look at it. It doesn't even look like a real Lego. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, we do have... I'm not sure what that one is. I think this is a Nexo Knight. I don't know if that's his actual helmet or his face, but 
kind of huge body there <laughs> going along with this one as well this is either knight's kingdom or nexo knight as well i never know the difference between the two get a nice little uh jack-o-lantern head guy there two of these little figs that's a cool hair piece i think that's Ginny's hair piece but with different coloring i haven't seen that before that's an old school i think soccer player i want to say uh that's mr freeze's face I think, yeah, on just a regular random city body. Um, and then just another city guy. We do have Bane here. He's fake as well. Man, superheroes. I don't like the superheroes. <laughs> There's faked so much uh, that it's crazy. That's interesting. <laughs> that actually looks like a Barbie. It's definitely not Lego. I thought it was Lego Friends, but it's actually longer. It's like a Barbie. Um, we do have a Jedi torso. I don't know who that is. Probably Obi-Wan. We have Suji's, or Sugi. I don't know how to say it. Her torso, anyways. That's City Fig, City Fig, Night Fig. Oh, we got some more fakes here. We got a Wolverine. Fake Wolverine. That's always good. You can tell on these guys from a mile away when this is green and not dark blue. These stripes right here. Um, obviously he looks fake too, but generally when you see the torso and it's light green, that means it's fake. And you should just know it's fake and not buy or support anybody selling fakes. Um, we do have Voldemort there. We have one of our basketball figures here. We do have, uh, I think it's, is it Paul Walker? I'm not a basketball fan, so I'm not sure. Roast me in the comments, but we do have somebody Walker <laughs> from the Celtics. I know that's in Boston, right? That's giving me some points. I have no idea what that is, but it's another sun bleached fig. Ooh, this is a great one. We do have Bausch Leia. I have a ton of her um, head or her helmets. So actually I needed a whole bunch of legs. So this is great to get her whole figure. I just put a helmet on there. That is a 25 to 30, $30 figure. So totally awesome. I will finish her for sure. We'll put her up here uh, in the winner pile there. Uh, we just do have a regular city fig there. This one I think is, I don't know. I think there's a Star Wars figure for that, but I'm not sure what it is. We have the fly minifigure which is kind of cool. It's got Davy Jones's um, handpiece in a different color, in the dark red color, and of course the fairy wings there as well. Um, this one is from Lone Ranger. I don't know the name of it specifically, but got the sheriff in town there. We do have a uh, stormtrooper here with the one, I think we found his helmet in the other video, the one with the, like spec damage helmets uh, and the jetpacks. Came from that battle pack. We also found this guy's helmet in the other blot, I think, too. Uh, I think that's an android or something like that. Oh, we have Tonto from the Lone Ranger as well. That's an interesting figure. I think this is actually an elf's head or a helmet. I think so. But that's obviously not Lego, <laughs> so we'll get rid of that. Ooh, a great find again. We do have Pong Krell in here. He is worth about 15 to 20 depending. Uh, we have a Wampa here as well. The Wampa Cave. He's missing both of his horns, unfortunately, um, but still a good fig. He might be 10, 10 bucks or so. We've got Steve's torso, another one of those Barbie figures. A little questionable. There's the Friends figure. That's what it's supposed to look like. More Friends figures. Friends figures are usually just sell in a lot of like 10 of them. Uh, we have the white haired Yoda. He's actually in great shape in terms of his face printing. Because they have that rubber face printing, it always wears off. But this guy's in perfect shape, so that's cool. I have a million Yodas, but it's still cool. Uh, we have, I believe that's probably, well, that's one of the pilots. I don't know if it's Luke or one of the other ones in there. We got a robber with a uh, boxer's helmet. Ooh, here's another good one. Uh, we do have, is she real? Yeah, she's real. I'm guessing because we had Bausch Leia in there as well. Um, this is, oh man, I'm blanking on her name. Oh man, it's the, uh, the girl that dances in Jabba's palace. Oh man, I'm gonna think of it afterwards. I'm sure you guys are gonna roast me again. <laughs> uh, shoot. It's one with the long head piece. They dangle down there. I don't know what her name is. Ula. Aha, I got it. <laughs> you can't be mad at me now. Uh, her name is Ula, I believe. <laughs> if I'm not wrong. Uh, we do have another knight with a cool torso or tool, cool, uh, pack anyways. Uh, we have Dengar, the newer version of Dengar, I believe. Yeah, that's the newer version, the battle pack version. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. I believe this is a, I'm guessing, custom Dementor? No? Real Dementor? 
Did they remake the Dementors for the Harry Potter series or something? I haven't seen that before, but they possibly maybe did it for the series figures. Looks like a Dementor to me. I never remember this guy's name, but he's on, I think, uh, Sail Barge or... Not Sail Barge, yet. a uh, Sand Barge or something like that. Uh, we do have the newer version of the Type Pilot with the little um, tube there. Newer version of Harry Potter. Nothing there. We got a Knight. Another Friends fig. I don't know what that is. Ooh, this is a good one. We have Satil Shan. Sean from Star Wars as well. Just missing her hairpiece, but that is a good $10 to $15 figure as well. Uh, we have an interesting Captain Minecraft figure. I have not seen that ever before, so hopefully that's a rare Minecraft figure. You guys can let me know in the comments if that is the case, because obviously you know how well I know Minecraft. Uh, def basically the, uh, the number one authority in Minecraft knowledge when it comes to uh, Lego Minecraft on YouTube. So just, uh, yeah, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of that is true. Uh, we do have another, I think that's Doc Relter, since he has just the regular happy face. Got a captain, the mini red snake from Ninjago. That's nothing. We got one of the Imperials, the newer Imperial mini figs. That's nothing. I believe that's a series diver or climber, something like that. This guy looks really cool in terms of his torso print. Looks like a newer Forest Mint torso, but I haven't seen that before. We got Luigi. It's not me. It's not me, Mario. It's Luigi. He's definitely not Lego, <laughs> so we'll put him over here. That was a terrible impression. Um, I don't know what this one came from, but it's cool looking. He's very concerned. Yeah, whoa, whoa, geez. Oh, man. What that facial expression is. That's nothing. Nothing. I never remember what the tuxedos, which ones are valuable. I think that one's probably not, though. I was thinking maybe it was the gangster. It could be the gangster from uh, Indiana Jones, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. We've got another uh, Slytherin body, probably Draco Malfoy. Our Ninjago ghost figure here. Ooh, that's a good one. We do have Phase 2 Gree. And it is real. I thought it looked fake for a second, but yeah, it's real. All right, we've got Phase 2 Gree. He's good for another 10 to 15 bucks, so that is great. Oh, well, it would have been nice, but it's fake. <laughs> we had Ant-Man here uh, in his original torso, but that's too bad. Yeah, he's fake as well. Looks like they probably got a giant fake pack of superheroes, would be my guess. Uh, this is Beetle, I believe. He's actually real. Um, he's got a cool orange headpiece that I hopefully find, uh, I believe, that has little antennas on it. So hopefully I find that because he's actually a pretty good figure as well, I believe. I don't remember the last time I sold him, but I think he's like 10 to 15 bucks. We have the Junior's version of light blue Batman. This is a Junior's set. He's still good for, I think, $10 or so. Um, some of these prices get me wrong. I haven't listed them in a little while, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, we have a musician from the Mos Eisley Cantina. I usually sell them in three packs because that's how they came in the set. I think this is Ron, I'm guessing, from the new Harry Potter series. I haven't seen any of the Harry Potter series, so bear with me. That might be something similar like that, or something to that effect as well. Uh, we have a great commando. That's the one of the rare heads. I think that's the head from Ewok Village, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what that head is for. So I actually was missing one of those. I had all of the other ones in a lot, and I needed one of... I think I needed this guy to complete that whole collection. So that's great. We have Garmadon's torso here as well. We have a horse with full regalia. That's cool. Uh, I think we have Veer's is who that's going to be. One of his least valuable forms. Uh, another yellow Harry Potter fig. Nothing. Nothing. Another uh, friend's fig. And then just a police officer there. And some accessories. So our winners today, obviously, were all of these ones here at the top. I don't know if Beetle is going to be a... Oh, I think his name is Beetle. I don't know. Uh, in terms of my favorite of these, I'm definitely going to go with her. I don't usually get the mermaids very often, um, but they sell very, very quickly. I usually sell them in a two-pack, but of course she's going to have to be sold by herself. Um, I thought that she, the dark blue or the blue one had dark brown hair, but I'll have to look into that. Um, I think the, the green one had blonde hair, but 
yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the other one's in the lot in one of the other bags. I have like um, 10 other bags to go through, so there'll be 10 other videos. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to try to post one of these every single day. So uh, this series, or at least some other packages that I got, I'm going to try to just go on a streak and see how many we can do uh, for everyday posts. So definitely hit that bell, hit the subscription button. If you're already here, about 72% of you who are watching this are not subscribed. So I'm not sure what you're waiting for. I got 15 pounds, spent almost $2,000 on random Lego figures for your pleasure. So show me some love. <laughs> hit, drop by the store, show me some love on Instagram, hit the like button, and I'll catch you on the next one.